Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We've got new production values uh, here on the show, so I hope you enjoy them. We've gone slightly more HD, so and we're going to talk about Donald Trump bringing back Camelot. Yes, RFK Jr. has joined him. Stick around and listen. Welcome to the report for Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We've got nice HD quality here. Hopefully you enjoy it. And um, we're going to talk about uh, RFK Jr. joining the uh, campaign of Donald Trump. Uh, I'm sure you probably heard the news of the last week or so um, that RFK has uh, suspended his campaign and uh, has endorsed Donald Trump. And um, Donald Trump has uh, agreed to put uh, RFK Jr. in his future administration in charge of health. Now, I mean, this is kind of a big thing for everybody who watches this show because, I mean, um, RFK Jr. is kind of uh, something of an anti-vaxxer, you know what I mean? Uh, certainly questioning the safety of the COVID vaccines, certainly questioning the, uh, the wisdom of the lockdowns. So, um, you know, I think it's very interesting to, uh, to see him join the campaign of Donald Trump. And also there's a huge kind of historical element to it, you know what I mean? Like, you know, when Donald Trump talks about make America great again, people, you know, assume that it's like a desire, you know, to go back to some racist time or something. No, it's not, it's not, it's not what it's about at all. But there is an element of, um, you know, associated to the Kennedy family, there's obviously the whole, you know, what they call Camelot, which was a sort of golden period of American politics under JFK. And RFK Jr., well, though he was only a kid, was part of that. You know, he was around six years old when, um, you know, his uncle got in and uh, he was around nine when he got assassinated. And then he was probably, you know, in his uh, mid-teens when his uh, own father was assassinated in the late 60s. So, you know, it's very interesting, uh, everything that's going on. And uh, another interesting thing that's happened is Donald Trump and, um, and RFK Jr. have discussed the idea of setting up um, a special committee, you know, uh, like a, I guess their version of a royal commission, where they would investigate assassinations. Obviously, you know... You could investigate the strange events that happened recently around the, uh, um, you know, the assassination attempt on Donald Trump. But you could also look into the very dodgy assassination attempts upon um, RFK Jr.'s uncle, um, J JFK, John F. Kennedy, who we all know something very strange was going on there. And there's talk under Trump that he will finally release all the documents. But apparently Mike Pompeo begged... He begged Donald Trump not to release all the documents. Why? Because obviously they implicate the CIA in the assassination, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I mean? And obviously there's also a lot of um, very dodgy things in relation to the death, the assassination of um, RFK Jr.'s own father, RFK. There's an absolutely incredible documentary on Netflix you should go check out um, that explores the life of, uh, of RFK. I mean, you know, I mean, uh, as I said, as you all know, I'm, I'm a right winger, but occasionally there are left wing... Um, or people who are of the left uh, and leaders who we've had historically who have been great leaders. And I think that um, JFK was one of those. I thought he was a great, probably the greatest Democrat um, president, um, you know, since World War II. And, um, and then there was RFK as well, who, was gonna, who would have equally made an excellent president. So, um, you know, they're both excellent uh, figures. And, um, you know, there's a huge historical dimension I mean, just having you know RFK, you know, in a in a in a major cabinet position. I mean, it, it echoes back to the time of Camelot when JFK uh, made you know his own brother, you know, the Attorney General. Um, you know, uh, RFK uh, was the Attorney General of America, and he went after the mafia uh, quite hard. That was one of the reasons uh, there's been rumours of some mafia involvement in the assassination of um, JFK. So you know, it's all really fascinating. It's all deeply historical. It's timely. You know, I mean, Tulsi Gabbard has joined. You've got Elon Musk. You know, they, you know, they're calling it, you know, uh, like the Justice League, ladies and gentlemen. They're calling it the Justice League. There's a whole group of heroes that are coming together. And also recently, Mark Zuckerberg even came out and said, look, you know, they were pressuring me over the Hunter laptop and over the whole COVID thing. And he wasn't happy about it. And he says he won't be doing anything like that again. So, you know, there are people that are joining the forces of light, ladies and gentlemen, and this is great. The Justice League is here, and um, it's looking strong for uh, Trump in 2024, as long as the election is held uh, legally. Obviously, we all know that the Democrats are going to cheat a bit. Um, you know, I mean, they did cheat a bit under Hillary Clinton, and they lost. They obviously didn't cheat enough. Whereas in 2020, they did cheat enough. So it's going to be a question of how much are they able to cheat. Um, so there it is. Donald Trump bringing back Camelot, RFK Jr. Donald Trump, this is a former Democrat. And a Republican joining hands. This is incredible news. Uh, so there it is. Report from Tiger Man.